Howdy guys, this is Lindsay from Larev Films and I'm so excited about making this video today. Have you ever been on a shoot and you're you're so excited about the footage, you, you know you crushed it and there's one or two shots that you're just like so excited, you can't wait to get back uh, on your computer and, and take a look at the footage, only to find out that hero shot, that one shot that you were like, this is gonna make the entire video has someone or something in the background that just completely ruins the entire shot. As a wedding filmmaker, we just don't have the resources that we need to fix these types of issues in post. Not like Hollywood does, right? They have the most talented people on planet Earth working for them. They have virtually endless resources that they can just take stuff out or change things or do whatever they want in, in the post-production process that we just can't do. Uh, for example, in Justice League, they CGI'd Henry Cavill's upper lip to remove his mustache. I mean, that's the type of that's the type of stuff that, that Hollywood can do that wedding filmmakers, low budget filmmakers, we, we just can't do. But that all changed this week. This week, Adobe released an update for After Effects that includes a tool called Content Aware Fill. Content Aware Fill for video, for After Effects, is a game changer. Because now it, it gives us the ability to easily remove some of these distracting objects that are in our shots. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to remove objects, items, people even, from your videos using After Effects new tool, Content Aware Fill. All right, so I have Premiere open right here, and you can see I have a couple of clips on my timeline uh, from a shoot we did in Tulum, Mexico recently. And these are a couple of my favorite shots, but in both clips there's, there's something wrong. Uh, and it's not a mustache. Fortunately, our, our lovely model did not have a mustache. Um, in this first shot, it's this red flag. And it's subtle, but it really is just a distraction. It, it pulls your eye away from this model skipping down the beach. And then in this second clip here, it's these purple, nice bright purple shorts, these people walking down the street. Again, I want you looking at my, my bride, my model. I do not want you looking at purple shorts. So let's see if uh, After Effects can fix these problems for us with their new Content Aware Fill tool. So to get these uh, clips into After Effects, we're gonna right click on the first clip and replace with After Effects Composition. And there it is, you can see um, a clip in After Effects with our, our just nasty flag waving at us right there. So let's get rid of it, shall we? So first, we're gonna mask around this flag. I'm gonna just go ahead and use the pen tool and I'm gonna create a mask around this flag using the pen tool. Uh, now everything else is transparent, so to turn that off real quick, we'll go down here to mask one and we'll change the value to none. That way we can see what we're doing here. Um, and as I drag on my timeline, I can see the flag moves, but the mask doesn't, which is not good. We need that mask to follow our flag. Uh, so there's a couple ways you can do that. You can go to Tracker right here, and you can actually track, hit that play button and uh, track the flag. Uh, but I'm gonna just do this manually real quick. It's a little bit easier, make sure that it just gets it just right, perfect without having any issues. So I'm gonna go ahead down to our mask, and on, next to Mask Path, we'll hit the stopwatch, and it creates a keyframe on our first frame. I'm gonna drag a little bit, and right about there, and use this arrow to move my mask. A, a new keyframe is, is created and it animates it for me in between. And we'll do it again, right about here. Drag that mask over, do it again. Drag the mask over. A Couple more times, actually we'll just go to the end. Let's see what this does here. Drag the mask over. So now I've got this animated mask and it looks good. I'm gonna feather the mask a little bit. Uh, 20 pixels, I'll do it. This is about 4K, so 20 pixels should be good. And that feather is just gonna really smooth out the edges uh, from what After Effects produces for us. So now we're gonna cha change this value to subtract and it gets rid of our flag now. And so now there's a, a hole basically in our video file that Content Aware Fill has to uh, fix for us. So to pull up Content Aware Fill, go to Window, Content Aware Fill, it appears down here. 
We have fill method. There's three options, object, surface, and edge blend. Now, this is an object that we're gonna remove, so we'll select that. Surface is if you're trying to fix maybe a blemish or something on a wall or uh, skin or something. Um, and the range, we're gonna change to entire duration or leave on entire duration. And we're gonna hit generate fill layer. So we'll go ahead and let it, let it do its process and see what happens. Okay, so content aware fill is done. Hit that space bar and see how it did. You can see as it plays through our flag is gone and I'm really pleased with that. I think, uh, I think that looks good. So now our eyes are gonna be focused on our model and we're not gonna be distracted by this nasty red flag uh, that was waving in the wind. So we'll go ahead and save that and go back to Premiere. And as you can see in Premiere now, our flag is gone, just the way we wanted that shot. So now you might be thinking, well, that was, that was just a flag. That's easy, pretty basic background. Not, not much going on back there. What about people? Can After Effects get rid of these people on a more complex, I would say, background? Um, well, let's find out. So we'll, we'll do the same thing here. We're gonna pull this clip into After Effects by replacing it with an After Effects composition. And there's our nasty people walking behind our beautiful uh, bridesmaid here who does not have a mustache and purple shorts just begging for attention. So let's see if Adobe's content aware fill can get rid of them. This time I'm gonna use the, uh, the uh, shape tool and we'll go ahead and just highlight those people, go down to our mask, hit none so we can see what's going on. And we'll go ahead and keyframe this the same way we did the last one. So mask path, get our arrow here. And I'm just gonna go to the end because their movement's not too crazy and we'll just move this mask and that should be good. Let's see, Let's see how it did. Yeah, so the mask pretty much stays on them the whole time. That's good, okay. I'm gonna feather it just like I did the last one, about 20 pixels. You may or may not need to feather your mask, just something that I did if it seems to work a little bit better for me. And hit subtract object, entire duration, generate fill layer. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's done. We'll hit space bar and see how that looks. And if you ask me, that looks really, really good. Uh, I'm super pleased with that. Purple shorts is gone, no more distraction. I mean, if you look closely, you might see a little bit of a glitch there, but to be honest, you're you're not gonna be looking at in that direction anymore because their they're, purple shorts is gone. So you're gonna be looking at our beautiful bridesmaid riding this bike down the streets of Tulum and your eyes aren't gonna be pulled over to uh, the people walking in the background. So we'll go ahead and save that. I'm, I'm honestly really, really impressed with how that, that looks and how that turned out. We'll go ahead and save, go back to Premiere and you can see in Premiere our people are gone and this looks really, really good. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two clips with the before and after. You can see what a great job Content Aware Phil did. Hopefully this video helps you guys out, and if it did, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to my channel where I'll be producing more videos just like this in the future. If I missed anything, please leave a comment below, ask me questions. Uh, let me know how you plan on using this new tool and some of the other updates that Adobe included in After Effects and Premiere in your next project. And until then, we will see you in the next video.